Right, I'm making a very lazy lunch. Baked potato and a baked squash. This is thinner skinned and fleshier than that. So this should cook at the same rate as that. So, going into the aga, but the squash side is gonna go to the hopper part of the aga, which is at the back, and the potato at the front because there's variance in heat. So we'll see what happens in an hour. Okay, an hour has passed. So I have a feeling my baked potato and squash are probably cooked. Let's see. Well, that could do a little bit more time. Ooh, that's lovely and cooked. Oh, I think they're, I'll put them in the oven for a little bit longer. What I might do is turn this over. See this, oop, it was a handy handle. Now, yeah, that could do with a little bit longer. So, basically you want the fork to go in real easy into the spud and it was slightly limited. So I'll put them in for a little bit longer. Nearly done. Yes, I know, I'm strange. A knob of butter, heating up the pan, salt and pepper already placed in it. So what am I cooking? Well, there's only one thing for it on a Sunday. Just have a nice bit of meat. There, sizzling away on the butter. Yum, 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 yum. So there's that cooking. And that that's nearly ready. Yeah, it is nearly ready. Yum, 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 yum. Lunch, Sunday lunch. Okay, split that baby open. Spoon the ingredients there, split the spud. Steak is done. Pour the juice of the steak and, and butter over the potatoes and stuff. And I'm gonna scrape that out and put it on top of there. And that is my Sunday lunch. Yum, 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 yum. Very simple, lazy lunch is that for me.